How you doing folks? Today I wanted to provide you guys with one of the most and very important and critical fishing tips of, of all time that you really need to know over all other important tips. This is the one that is the most important that I can think of. And this is one thing that I really wish I would have learned as a teenager because I wasted a lot of years and years and years choosing the wrong colors for the wrong conditions. Okay, there is certain colors you are supposed to use when it is crystal clear water and sunny, crystal clear water and cloudy, semi dingy and sunny and cloudy, and then you got your dingy or what I would call stained, sunny and cloudy, and then you got severely stained. And I'm gonna read this to you guys. Uh, I really hope this can help somebody. Okay, I'm gonna start reading to you guys, give you guys a better idea. And this, and the whole intention of this video is to help you know what lure color to use in what conditions. That way you're never using the wrong color. Crappie usually exhibit specific behavior patterns in response to different degrees of water clarity. And the angler who knows what to expect will have a better chance of catching fish regardless of those conditions. To start, an angler must first decide how to determine what constitutes muddy or clear water. Our rule of thumb is to lower a white jig in the water with a line as a measuring stick if we can see the jig at a depth of more than six feet or more, we consider that water to be clear. If the jig vanishes between two to six feet of water, it is stained or colored. If the jig disappears at two feet or less, the water is muddy or dark. That's very important right there. Keep that and remember that. Clear water, when searching for clear water fish, a careful, quiet approach is critical. Fishing in limited light also helps. They rely heavily on sight and can see an offering and more readily to chase lures. Be on the water in early morning and late afternoon when light penetration is minimal and the fish are in the shallows to feed. Take advantage of cloudy days and night fishing in the summer months. Line considerations are also very important because crappie can look closely at the prey before attacking it in crystal clear water. I use about four pound test because it's more difficult for the fish to detect it. As for lure selections, live baits are always a good choice because there is nothing phony for the fish to observe. When using jigs, I use jigs weighing one thirty second of an ounce or smaller. Go to lighter, more natural, more translucent colors like a pearl with silver, a spotted minnow, and colors with sparkles that mimic bait fish. And really for that, I'm going to tell you from personal experience what they mean right there. That's when it's when it's cloudy and when it's just when it's uh when the sun is out but not completely overhead like during the midday when that sun is directly over your head you want to use the natural colors when it's either cloudy or the sun is not fully in strength but when that sun is overhead and it is really sunny out and you are fishing crystal clear water you do want to use your bright colors in that situation now I'm not talking about chartreuse though I'm talking about yellows oranges pinks and white stuff like that but when it is cloudy you definitely want to use those natural colors the ones that like they just mentioned that are kind of transparent uh, with glitter added to them just a regular shad color for instance there is one lure there is two colors that I consider neutral and that's black and white those two colors pretty much work in any water at any time regardless if it's muddy clear sunny or cloudy uh, one of my favorite lures of choice is the bandit I'm sorry the bomber model a 
that's half black and half white. The top half is black and the bottom half is white. If you're ever uncertain, use something of those two colors. Okay, muddy water. In muddy waters, fish tend to stay in the shallow water areas because of the lower oxygen levels in deep water. The peak feeding times are usually during the brightest hours. In fact, the best fishing in muddy water will sometimes be during the midday hours under sunny conditions. Because visibility is severely limited, the fish are less spooked and tend to be object oriented. They rarely move any distance and usually locate near some type of woody cover. Fishing close to brush, stumps, and other structures can be very productive. An important thing to remember that muddy water fish rely more on sound, vibration, and odor to find food. Thus, they usually respond better to live baits because they can home in on the scent. But if jigs are used, use attractants such as nibbles and Kodak paste, Kodiak paste. As for colors, dark colors such as black, brown, dark blue, and dark red, and purple are like silhouettes in muddy water. Okay, there's one thing. Those colors right there, yes, they all do work, but never forget chartreuse either for muddy water. Another rule of thumb it doesn't mention here, in muddy water, or when it's cloudy, regardless of the water color, if you want to add spinners or you're using a spinner bait, use gold blades. If you're fishing clear water and it's sunny, you want to use those silver blades. Otherwise, use the gold blades more. Many spinner baits come already rigged with both colors. It'll have like the uh, one gold and one silver on there. Those are probably your best bet, especially if they're of equal size. Uh, but there are so many different types of spinner baits that it really depends on that. Uh, but just keep in mind what I just said about the spinner colors. Muddy water and cloudy in either muddy or clear water when it's cloudy. Gold blades when it's sunny and clear silver blades. All right, now this is stained water. And like, like I said before, that's when it's visibility all the way from four to six feet down. That's considered stained. In stained or colored waters, fish behave, behavior falls somewhere in between the clear and muddy water extremes. And fish may display a characteristics of both conditions, depending on the degree of the stain. With watercolor closer to the muddy extreme, lean towards muddy water methods. When visibility is in the four to six foot range, stick more to clear water techniques. So four to six range, you want to use those clear water techniques. Anything uh, four feet or less of visibility, use the, use the muddy water lures. The purples, the reds, the blacks, the brown, the dark blue, the chartreuse, purple. As water gets more stained, go to brighter colors, such as whites, yellows and oranges when you reach the, to the point of two to four feet of visibility try bright fluorescence like high visibility blues pinks chartreuse or lime green in water that's stained a dark green or brown use multicolor combinations like black and chartreuse pink and yellow or use something with a light glitter when the water is real dark Almost always, I hook a minnow or wax worm on with the jigs. Be ready to adjust and experiment to the changing water clarities. With a little extra work and know-how, fish can usually be found. I hope this was helpful because there, you hear a lot of different opinions on what colors to use and what conditions and what types of waters and whatnot. And I know I've made this mistake many times when I go out. For instance, I was walleye fishing two months ago in water that you could see easily 10 to 12 foot down, probably even further than that, and I was using bright yellow, bright orange, or whatever on a cloudy day when I needed to be using something more natural. 
So I still make the same mistake. I make it every time I go fishing. I can tell you that. I'm, half the time, I'm probably not using the right color choice. Um, but you know what? I'm going to keep this page that I found because I'm always going to have to look at this to remember because I ain't got it memorized, to be honest. Parts of it I do and parts of it I don't. Well, I hope this was helpful for you guys. You will see me again this Sunday, hopefully, because I'm going out this Saturday and going crappie fishing once again. So uh, hopefully I make a good video this Saturday. It's been nice spending some time with you guys. Hit that like button and be sure to subscribe.